Welcome back to Sefton Motors for a Sefton Motors engine update. We've got a lot of cool stuff to cover. We want to get into engine pressurization, where we're at with that. We want to get into some other optimization activities we have going on with the engine. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and marvel at one of the most amazing engines in operation. Thank you. Oh, look at that baby run. Beast mode. Love it. And that's unpressurized. We do have some data from the pressurization. Not much. We've got about, about a half a PSI of pressure on a 3 PSI system. Making progress. Still have a ways to go. But first, let's start with a conversation on distributed energy generation. Because that's really where we're going. The transition is not from gasoline cars to electric cars. The transition is from a centralized group of power plants to a decentralized uh, power generation at each and every uh, house and business throughout the country. That is where the opportunity and the transition will come. Solar, photovoltaics, wind, and, and heat engines are a natural leg of this distributed energy solution throughout the U.S., providing space, water heating, and electricity. We're starting to see some of these concepts echoed by our local politicians, which is exciting to see. Have the economy controlled by a few large energy producers, oil, coal, utilities. The political system will tend also towards sort of a more totalitarian model, whereas if the energy system is controlled by 200 million American homeowners, if they're your generators, you are, you're going to democratize the country as well. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Kennedy, but to hear a presidential candidate talk about distributed power generation is so amazing. It's coming. All right, we've got another Melvin here. We're working on uh, getting it final tested to get it out the door. You can see here we've got the firebox on it. We do have, uh, you would not have this particular pressure sensor on it. We just use that for the testing of the water jacket, partially filled. We'll come back here to our kinematic section, and uh, you'll see it is set with the new uh, pump right there, and then the new uh, kinematic the setup. The new kinematic setup is basically where we take the two con rods coming back and we join those to a single connecting rod back to the crank. It is dramatically reduced the friction the of the cycle. I just want to show you the flame. We've got almost all the yellow out of the flame. And on top, we've got a little uh, grilling thermometer that helps you. Well, folks, we are using this firebox for the run that's shown a little later in this update. Right, you can see the Keep in mind, it's using the a low-pressure propane, propane lid, just like your barbecue you see, grill. That's uh, right it. Now it's set up also with the wood burner input right there. And Chase, you want to swap out that wood burner cartridge with the waste oil burner you can see it just slides right off just put it off to the side and then you're ready to go ahead and throw on the waste oil burner slides onto the exact same interface nice and easy it's pretty light right chase oh uh, it's not super light <laughs> <laughs> anyway and that's the waste oil burner right like that and this will hook up to your uh, waste oil supply and we'd be running the Melvin off waste oil at that point in time. All right, let's get back to packing this up. New drive. Okay, system. here is a quick, uh, quick test box, about seven test run with the new drive system and the new pump, just and to uh, no pressure, take a look. See, run. here we go. Yeah, I'm holding my hand on the flywheel there, just so it won't take off. It's a uh, it wants to run really fast at first, and I'm just, just slowing down a little bit until things uh, normalize. And that, you can see, is the pump being actuated with the cam off the crank on the right-hand side, the little thing that's going down in front. Every time it goes down, it's pushing out some air into the kinematics housing. So the pump is working, and it is pressurizing the kinematics housing with closed back cover to develop some of that pressure in the chamber. It's still not quite what we're looking for, but we're getting there. Keep in mind, we are spinning the hub motor at this point. We're probably generating about 18 to 22 volts of output, a little bit lower once it's loaded up. Uh, but this engine, it's running at a 
temperature delta from hot to cold about 600 degrees out, pretty low. It has a nine and a half inch piston and we're working with about 10 inches by 10 inches of working fluid. Look at the speed of that thing, 250 RPMs with that much working fluid. Pretty impressive, pretty impressive. About what I had yesterday. All right, we've got a couple more administrative updates I wanted to uh, give you. Our backlog has been reduced from probably about uh, three months from order to shipment at this point in time and improving. We're hoping to get to uh, two engines per month here shortly. As I mentioned, our pressure, the pressure design is done, working. We're not getting as high pressure pumped into the system as we'd like, but we are working to improve the seals, which we feel will get uh, will improve that. We're also working on the Melvin Jr. We've got to get the pump uh, situated so it can fit into that machine. Uh, we are expecting a price increase coming soon to the engine. I want to say within the next few days, probably about 20%. Uh, yes, yeah, so go out there and get your order. Place your order for a Melvin. Remember, our goal is to be the highest value Sterling generator on the market, not the most exotic not some newfangled technology but proven technology robust lasts for 20 years much like the willie's jeep or world war ii go anywhere climb anything and still keep running flip over flip it back and keeps going you're also going to start to see a shift in some of our focus towards more the generator or interface section of our uh, melvin engine system we want to start looking at you know how do we hook up that uh, inverter to it how do we hook it up to the grid to our battery bank and get a little bit of more focus on that so that people feel more comfortable in integrated into their existing systems we want to put a melvin engine everywhere we can we thank you for all your support up to this point and in the coming future here and for all your patience in getting out our orders Thanks again. Here's a quick tour of our shop just to keep you up to date with what's going on in Michigan, and we'll see you on the other side. Well, good morning, girls. It is just a swelter here in Michigan today. It's been a while since I've shown you the shop and just wanted to show you some of the amazing stuff we have going on. There's a Melvin Jr. right there. Full-size Melvin getting ready for Indiana. Look at that stuff, man. CNC milling machine right there, a regular milling machine, a couple of lanes. Oh, look at it. a couple more Melvins ready for shipment. Dang, nab it. Just warms my heart when I walk into this space.